Thanks, friend. <laughs> that feels a lot better. I can't go climbing a scaffold on an empty stomach, can I? Won't be long till the river gets busy now. I guess that's what makes it such a good site for a market town. Obviously not a patch on Coventry or Warwick. You can get everything there. <laughs> it's not bad here. The sheep market, for instance. You should see them all coming across the bridge on market day. <laughs> Towards Sheep Street, of course. You can hardly move. <laughs> Wool. That's where all those merchants made their money. It was good for us all. Even Clopton's corpse. Buried in a woollen shroud. No matter how fancy his tomb. Just like my... I mean, our paintings. Story goes as he had a big hand in building that bridge. Yes, before he died. My master says he remembers the old bridge. As you can imagine, he goes on and on about it when we rode over from Coventry. Well, he rode. I walked, of course. <laughs> oh yes, he liked to tell me how it was much smaller in his day and made of timber, and that sometimes in the winter, and even in the summer when it was wet, you could hardly get across, and the people or animals would get stuck, or worse. And this one time, he almost lost all of his paints over the side, and he was lucky to get away with his life. <laughs> oh, you know what masters are like. It was always worse in their day. But what I did hear in the alehouse was that Clopton left money to repair all the bridges and roads around Stratford. I mean, it makes sense. Can you imagine the amount of times that he would have travelled from here to London? And his friends too. Knee deep in mud, carts stuck fast. <laughs> well, you've got to sort these things out for towns to thrive. And if you want people to attend your guild feasts. But I suppose the thing I really like about him is that, yes, it was all about his memory and remembering his soul, but... It was also about the people for him, too. Most fathers would have just left it all to their sons. Well, that's what my dad says he's going to do. Well, mostly he says he's going to leave it to my brother. <laughs> but not Clopton, no. He left money for poor scholars at Oxford so that the lads at the school here might benefit from it. And, get this, 200 marks for the marriage of 20 poor maidens in London and 20 here in Stratford, too. Well... That's what the girl in the alehouse told me last night who was serving me. And my friend, I don't like to boast, but she was definitely topping up my cup. At least, she was. Until I got a bit carried away with telling her all about the dance of death. And all those skeletons <laughs> seemed to put her off a bit. So, my friend, there you have it. Now you've seen it all. Clopton Stratford. And mine too. Oh no, did you hear that? That was the curfew bell. I'd better get back to the chapel before my master finds me missing. Come and see it when we finish, though, won't you? You'll want to say you knew Kit the Wallpainter when he was just an apprentice. 